In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Great and wonderful day for all of us here as we offer and celebrate this holy Eucharist. Special intention for all of you, especially at this time of coronavirus pandemic, let us sell. Ask God to give us always His strength, give us always the good health, so that uh, we can continue serving Him and serving uh, His people, especially members of our families, all those who trust them uh, to us to love and serve. To prepare ourselves bodily therefore for this holy Eucharist, let us um, be sincerely sorry for all our sins and failures, and we thank the Lord for His pardon and His mercy. I confess, to my God, my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned my thoughts and my words words in what I have done and what I have done to you. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as the Son made me very much worthy, all the angels and saints, and my brothers and sisters, to bring you to me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, give us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. From the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer. Let my prayer come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. 
O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he regarded the prayer of the destitute and despised not the prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let the future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, and to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. For this is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much more to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, Lord to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Many people believe today that Jesus is a holy man. Many believe that he's a prophet, he's a great teacher. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't Jesus? He's among the greatest. He's among the, the top 10 or top 20. But they admire his words, they admire his life, but that's not truly a Christian faith. To be really a follower of Jesus, you have to understand that he was much more than just that. The crowd asks him, who are you? And he says, I am. Just like the Old Testament, when uh, they asked, Moses asked and others asked, who are you? He said, God said, I am. Only God can say those words. Only God can say that he truly is and that um, he existed before all time. Jesus came from the Father and now, and he's always been united with the Father in every way. 
We need to have a faith that goes beyond just what we can see, touch, hear with our senses. We need to be able to know that God is with us in every moment and that he came to us as man and as God and that he will be always interceding to the Father on our behalf. It's only through Christ's life, death, and resurrection that we are saved. We need to be able to trust him completely and to walk with him through this difficult time, this time of darkness, of the COVID virus, and to be able to walk with him, sometimes even alone, as we do that often throughout the neighborhood or I'm walking on a regular basis, uh, trying to keep up my strength, and I hope that you are too. But to be able to be in greater communion with Christ during this time is a very special gift. We ask the Lord to give us the awareness of his presence, even when we're alone, even when no one else is sharing with us the good news, that we ourselves can be in quiet communion with him and walk with him confidently into a new light, into a new awareness of his presence that takes us beyond this present situation and helps us to know that light is growing in the world and that through all of God's people in communion with him, that all of us together are going to find our way to the gates of heaven. That is our hope. That is our confidence in Jesus Christ. He promised all those who believe in him and trust him and proclaim his name that he will never forget them, that he will always proclaim our names to the Father so that one day we can join him forever. Brothers and sisters, let us now again bring all of our prayers that we behold in our hearts to our merciful and loving God who always desires for us to know Him. For all the leaders of uh, the Church, religious and lay person who serve the Church, may they be blessed with the grace and continue service to serve the, the people of God for the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. The leaders of our country uh, and our community and our nation, that Holy Spirit may guide them to promote equality and justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the Holy Mother Church, Pope Francis, College of Cardinals, Bishops, Priests, and Religious, and all your dearly beloved people. Lord, as the Church offers its religious duties, the Holy Masses, and the sacrifices and services, the people, all those who attend through the social media and the YouTube and Internet, may they all receive the graces and the blessings that they may be able to feel the warmth of your love in their life. For this grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those people who are affected with the COVID-19. Lord, we also pray for all those who respond to them, doctors and policemen, uh, government officials, or medical practitioners. Lord, be with them. May they always attend and rescue and to recover those people who are suffering with this virus. May they enjoy a beautiful and happy life. For this grace we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Andrea Vasquez, for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. I also pray for the soul of Jesus Pimentel, Pray for his family and friends who loved him dearly. He be brought to everlasting life, and his family and friends receive comfort and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, 
Kira Prayer. For all our beloved dead, that they may see the face of God and rest with Him in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all peace and for the special intentions of those who are so praying for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of all your people gathered before you and uh, are celebrating the Holy Eucharist. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our merciful and almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved into compassion, you may
Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever. Great. 
individual spirit. 